Hello Taurus and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin and today we are doing your annual reading for the year 2022. We're going to find out what's coming towards you, what you can expect, give you a little sneak peek. Oh, that's way more cards than I wanted here. Okay. The cards say what they got to say, so we're just going to improvise. So put those there. And we will put those there. Are those on camera? They are. So Taurus, I do want to say there is a little contest that I'm doing on these annual readings. If you like the annual reading and it resonates and you would like one for free, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already to get entered when I'm done all 12 of the signs. So in, um, around January 1st, I will um, post the winner in my community section and I will also reply to the winner via comment so that you know and get that little reminder that you entered the contest. So, Aries, sorry about that, Taurus. Let's get into your reading. So, your overview for 2021 was why and no place like home. So, it looks like there was a lot of questioning. Maybe people were doing things that you didn't understand. You didn't understand something that went your way, but you also appreciated and learned to appreciate the value of home, right? But also, home is where the heart is. So, I feel like in 2022, there was definitely an emphasis on your home um oh maybe potentially as well a family member um and you had an issue or a family member did something that you didn't understand why they did that so somebody took questionable actions and i think you realized the value of your home so it was a year of realizations for you taurus um we got to get one more card and i'll get clarity on that too oh crap i camera reset my genuine apologies um let's move those sorry about that taurus <laughs> i don't want to have to re-pull the cards because i feel like the cards that came out are the ones that are meant to come out so i don't want to restart so i just adjusted the camera so we'll get some clarity on that get a little more detail of your overview for 2021 for all those oracles to come out there's definitely a message that they want me to relay to you in the ace of wands okay so can you clarify this why and no place like home for taurus for 2021 what is this in the overview what do you want to say about that Strength and reverse. The sun in reverse and the six of wands in reverse. So, um, definitely a, a someone who has, how do I word that? Like, um, like a family member, somebody who knows how to pull on your strings. Somebody who knows what your strengths and your weaknesses are and they're going to pull on the weaknesses to kind of pull you in, to kind of manipulate you or do things that you don't want to do. Do you understand what I mean? I hope you do, because somebody did that to you in 2021, and that's why you don't understand. Like, just because you know that's my weakness, you know that's my buttons, you know if you push it, you're going to push me away. Why did you do that? Because ultimately, you're pissed. There's no place like home. So this person took away that stability, and we start there, yeah. That person took away that stability, um, they took away that happiness and then you stopped giving your attention to it. So it was definitely a year of um, realizations and betrayal, Taurus, and I'm sorry that they did that to you. Um, let's get into your next year and hopefully it's going to be better. So your career outlook is the two of cups in reverse. So I'm going to try and keep my hands out of it for this reading. Two of cups in reverse. Um, so for career, I feel like... Um, there's definitely going to be some healing you need to do. So there's something that you need. To, there's a healing or an issue. Maybe this was a family business. I'm not certain, Taurus. But um, there's something that you have to heal from in order to move forward in your career. So um, there's something that is disruptive. There's a disharmony. If there's a partnership. Yeah, we'll get clarity on that. We'll definitely get some clarity on that too. What I'm going to do is go through the cards and the cards we need clarity on to find out what that, uh, deeper into that for you, Taurus, we will. So there's definitely some kind of healing that you need to do. Potentially what I'm seeing is there's a partner. So if you're working on a team, there's a person on the team. If you're a business owner, you're in a partnership. If you're a boss, there's an employee. So there's some kind of partnership here in your career that is going to have some disharmony in 2022. And, and I feel like you're going to have to move past something that this person did. So I feel like you're going to really have to rise above some conflicts, but we'll find out if it wants to say anything more about that. So your finance outlook though, like, ooh la la, is the king of pentacles, Taurus. I mean, come on. 
here you are, baby, right? Under finances. So beautiful. So you're not struggling. So if you have a conflict here, um, you are not struggling financially at all. You're very comfortable. You're very secure. I feel like the King of Pentacles, you probably have more than you need. Um, so you're definitely not stressing over money. You've worked hard in your life and you're going to be reaping the rewards from that. And there's the justice, right? <laughs> the justice. Yeah. Like for your finances is justice. This is karma, baby. This is your karma. You deserve this Taurus. So you are the sign of, you know, money and possessions. You guys are hard workers. You're, you, you, and you've worked very hard. And I feel like with these two here being the outlooks on your career and your finance, you do overcome this. You do find the ability to resolve this conflict in order to um, create the stability and the abundance of money, money, money for yourself. Let me get that card out of there. So then we got, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I don't want to say anything more about the career. Let's move on. So for love, we have the page of pentacles in reverse. So Taurus, I feel like um, there's a few things. Um, Feel like this year you're going to be really learning from past mistakes and we have the healing um healing here so i feel like there's a lot of healing that you're going to be doing and maybe this why and this maybe you were in a lot maybe you were married or it was a long-term commitment and somebody did you wrong um and you i feel like there's going to be a lot of healing and a lot of learning from the past learning from these these negative experiences and these past experiences but it's also a sign of not committing so i don't see you i see you really focusing on your money i don't see you wanting to commit um, it doesn't mean that you won't or it doesn't mean someone doesn't come in, but I absolutely feel like you're healing this year. You're working on your money. You're getting your karma, what you deserve. You know, maybe you're the type of person that you need to feel secure before you can share yourself with someone else. You need to heal from this. For some of you, I definitely feel like this was a long-term commitment. Like this was a marriage that you went, that didn't make it through 2021. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Taurus. Sometimes though, that's the best thing and it does end up well, whatever this was, but um, I don't feel like you're looking for love in any way shape or form i feel like you're really just focusing on yourself and um you don't want to commit so it's not that you're not out there having fun maybe you are out there having fun dating going around but you just you're not in the mood to commit to any kind of relationship and i feel like it has something to do with this you just have a little bit of healing to do um so for your family and um your friends we have the seven of wands so there's definitely um you're gonna feel a little defensive taurus um i'm just trying to think like for the seven of wands i feel like sorry i want to show them up to the camera that's you i feel as though um a lot of people are going to be wanting your attention a lot of people are going to be coming to you you know, you're doing pretty well in life. They see that. I feel like people are going to want your opinions. They're going to want you to share your ideas. However, the seven of wands is also, you might be a little defensive and not quite ready to open up and make yourself vulnerable to your family and friends. They might be wanting you to talk to them about what you're going through. Tell them what's happening. You know, talk to them. Open up to us, Taurus. Let us lean on, you know, lean on us. And you're just like, no. So I feel like you're not going to be making yourself vulnerable. You're not going to be reaching out to your friends. I do feel like you're really going to be focusing on your money in 2022 and getting your, your shit together in that sense. Um, so as far as family and friends go, I feel like you're going to be very defensive towards them. And I kind of feel like you're going to be in no bullshit kind of mood. Like some people, this is what I'm hearing. I've got, I've got to say it to you. There are some people in this world that when things are not, when you know, let's say this is a divorce and someone heard about it and they want to call you not to be there for you, but to, oh, you're divorced. Oh, just to be fake. And, you know, you know, those people. I'm, and if that message is for you, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> you got them in your life. They only show up when things are shitty just to, you know, um, enjoy the, the non pleasant parts. But what they don't see is all of this happening because you're going to get your karma. They just probably see the why and heard through, you know, gossip and bullshit like that. Um, so I feel like with them, you're going to be a tad defensive. You're not going to make yourself vulnerable, just like love. I feel like you're closed off to both of those things right now. You're just trying to figure your shit out. Um, so from, let's get into the months. So from January to March, well, we got ourselves the five, oh, sorry, sorry, Taurus. We got the five of swords in reverse. 
So I feel like you're really just looking for peace. I feel like this, this conflict with this person is going to happen here in the first, uh, it could be happening right now, but in the first part of January or first part of 2022, there's going to be some kind of conflict and you really do want to resolve it. You don't want to continue going down this conflict path with this person because you know that once you solve it, look what waits for you. Why would you want to have a conflict with this person, right? So you have this desire and this need for peace right now. Peace within yourself, peace within your life, peace within your work, peace within your family and your friends. You just want to chill. <laughs> you just want to chill. And so I feel like that's... um. You're really going to be just trying to resolve it, trying to improve the communication, trying to get to the bottom of that conflict and create peace. And from April to June, we have the hanged man. So I feel like you're just, um, you're just handing it over to the universe. You've done all that you can do. You're letting your karma take over here. I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, I feel like you understand that you've worked hard. You've laid down your foundations. You've tried to solve this conflict. You, I feel like you've done everything that you can do to get this conflict out of the way. And you're just leaving it to the world. You're just going to let the universe take care of you. Um, there's nothing more that you can do. And really, sometimes that's just the way that it is, right? You're just, you did everything that you can do. And all you can do is wait for the fruits of your labor and leave it up to the universe. And I feel like you're really going to be doing that. Just, um, like I said, just relaxing, just chilling. Just working hard, keeping your head down, minding your own business. Just being respectful. Um, so for the next three months, with it is July to September, we have the eight, yes, the eight of pentacles in reverse. So um, I feel like you're, um, you might be getting, like eight of pentacles in reverse can be like burnout, exhaustion, tired, and it's also known as right under the page of pentacles in reverse. So you could be getting really tired, you know, you could be getting a little stressed out, you worked really hard. You're waiting for this King of Pentacles to come here. You're waiting for the fruits of your labor. Sometimes, you know, in astrology, a lot of astrologers say we experience the fruit of our labors in October and November from what we've done the year before, right? It's like a cycle that um, they talk about. I am not an astrologer, but, but I absolutely follow astrology and, and learn about it and believe in it. So I feel like um, there's also a message here, too, that if you want this King of Pentacles, sometimes the Eight of Pentacles can be inconsistency so sporadic effort so maybe you haven't 100 percent been consistent in what it is that you're working on and it's just a little precaution that if you want this king of pentacles and this justice the universe rewards hard work right don't forget to give your all if this conflict hasn't resolved itself or it's still waiting for the universe don't give up just let the universe deal with it just keep working keep your head down don't get caught up in the gossip or the drama just do what you got to do and let the universe do what they got to do. You know what I mean? Because that's how you're going to get the rewards that you want. So from October to December, we have the five of pentacles. So um, I feel like there's a few different uh, messages here. You could be really worrying about this. So this could be a card not only being left out, but it's a card of worry. So maybe you feel like it's not going to solve. I feel like this conflict is really a problem. It could be more than just um the co-worker but there's definitely a conflict here and i feel like you are very worried that it's not gonna solve the way that you want it to solve you might get left out and you're um you're stressed out about that um so i do want to get some clarity on that let's just get some clarity what's this um what do you want to say about this five of pentacles the star and the high priestess in reverse okay so there's definitely it's what i said so if people are gossiping and if people are talking and people got something to say it is in your best interest to just stay out of it just focus on your healing focus on you you're the star of your show it doesn't matter what they say they're just background characters their opinion is irrelevant to you taurus um, this is about you and what you want out of life and there's definitely a conflict here but the star is also wish fulfillment so the message is if you can rise above that gossip and rise above the pettiness of some of the people that you're going to be uh, dealing with in 2022, you'll get what you want. You'll get your wish fulfillment. Don't, um, don't worry about the security aspect of it. The King of Pentacles is here. The universe is going to make sure you um, are fruitful. <laughs> you know, you experience the fruit of your labor. <laughs> but um, don't get caught up in that gossip. I definitely feel like that's a message for you. So with this conflict... Maybe people are taking teams, people are taking sides, a lot of people have different opinions, or maybe it's even about this past, um, but just ignore the noise and just keep your head down and focus. So the biggest obstacle that you're going to face in 2022 
is the Knight of Swords. So quick decision making. I feel like you're going to have decisions that you need to make and the biggest obstacle is not to jump into them, not to rush into anything. I feel like it's really warning you to take the time um, to, to take the time. Because the thing about the Knight of Swords is he's rushing to success, right? So I feel like you really, really want something and you're really, really working towards it. And we see that here. Um, but just understand that that takes time. So the biggest obstacle I feel is going to be patience for you um, and not rushing into these decisions or rushing in to get involved in things that don't benefit you. It will be um, really to take your time and to have patience and understanding. Swords are also... Um, yeah, no, I don't want to say anything about that. Well, okay, I, what I was going to say, swords are also about communication. So I feel like there's a message about the communication here, especially with these this conflict we have like um, with this with this person. I feel like there's definitely going to have to be really clear, concise, and straight communication for you, Taurus, in order to resolve that conflict, to take away those insecurities and those worries. And so the Ace of Wands is how you tackle that obstacle. So by being creative, by thinking outside the box, by um, using your intuition and your intelligence to, to um, rise above this conflict, so really, it's going to take some 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 creative thinking by you, Taurus. Um, and like, how do I say what I'm trying to say? Like, um, yeah, just outside the box, like whatever this conflict is, it's not going to be a traditional method to solve it. That's what I wanted to say. I feel like you're going to have to take some some really different communication strategies some different techniques um, towards the conflict with this person. So your overview for the year ahead is chaos and conflict and soulmates. So we do definitely see the chaos and the conflict, but out of order, out of chaos comes order. So going through this, <laughs> I do feel like this definitely could have been a breakdown um, of a relationship or a marriage or something that was long term. But I feel like going through all of this is going to bring you your soulmate. It's going to direct you and guide you to, to better love. Look at all the, the love petals, the little hearts flying everywhere. So... Um, I do want to get clarity on soulmates because I didn't really see much for new love here. And we've seen that the page of pentacles um, is you not committing. So I don't think you'll commit anything to your soulmate. Now, soulmates can also be friendships, right? Um, like my son is my soulmate. <laughs> you know what I mean? So soulmate doesn't also always have to mean love. But let's just see what they want to say about soulmate. Um, someone from the past. Okay. So the Six of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. I think what this is telling you is this past person was not your soulmate. You might have thought they were, or someone that you were dealing with the past, you might have thought that they were your soulmate, um, but I don't think they were. They were the Six of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. They were a fraud. They pretend like... Um, they were like, maybe they weren't a fraud. Maybe they were, who knows what they did to you. Cause you're wondering why. Um, but I feel like, like to you, they're a perpetrator. They were not your soulmate. You were understanding them to be, but the, they're not, there's not enough. Um, they could have been a soul lesson, but they're definitely not a soulmate. And we do have different kinds of soulmates in our life, right? Some come and go, some just teach us lessons. Some are here for life. Some are soul contracts. I believe all of that, but this person from the past, um, and who I feel like in your, and that might cause a little conflict and chaos within your heart and within your essence, right? Because I do feel like um, you're also valuing the appreciation of your home. So I feel like um, the breakdown of that, whatever that was for you, um, definitely was hurtful. And I'm sorry you went through that. But it's going to bring something amazing in the new year. So 2022 will be fantastic for you. Um, so let's see what you have to surrender here to Taurus in 2022. But what does Taurus have to surrender to in 2022? That's a lot of twos, twos, twos. So, we got a couple of messages. Surrender to passion. So get out of your head and feel the fire. Oh, sorry. And feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. And surrender. Oh, look at them. They're the same card. Uh, the same color. Um, so surrender. And the thing is with purple, <laughs> let me read that in a second. So the King of Pentacles in the traditional Rider Waite is purple because purple is representative of luxury, of um, 
um, the luxurious things in life. So both of these are purple. So there's a lot of luxury that's coming your way. There's a lot of abundance that's coming your way if you can surrender to negative thinking. So you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. I actually like crinkle it up like a baseball and I just throw it when those negative thoughts come my way. You know, I just throw them out in the field. They can kiss my ass because I don't want them. Um, so I feel like there's definitely, and it's definitely going to have something to do with this conflict here. Um, so what's your energy oracle message? What, ooh, too many. What do you want to say to Taurus for 2022? What's their message, please? Okay. Patience, and we spoke of that earlier. Angel of love. And door to spirit. This is beautiful. Card number 32, 49, 16. So this is a, a big year for you spiritually, you know? Um, I feel like you're going through a lot of changes and a lot of transformations within, and this is really telling you to trust that you're on the right path. Trust your intuition. Trust that it will be a peaceful ending, right? Every Out of chaos comes order. So I know if things are feeling a little chaotic, this is a message that this is your divine purpose and your path, and you're going to learn something from this, that this is all about love. But I feel like sometimes when this card, it is representative of love externally, but look how she's looking at that heart, and it's like coming out of her. Here, I feel like this is about loving yourself, Taurus, and understanding and putting yourself first and creating that balance and having patience, not only patience with yourself, but patience with the process of healing and just patience with life. You know, it's not about the, the end. It's about the journey of how we got there. So I feel like there's a major message here of loving yourself and just taking the patience and taking the time to really connect to your intuition here. Um, and and it'll bring you like I feel like the, the path that you're on and the lessons you're learning are going to end up beautifully for you in 2022. It's going to be a beautiful year. So before we get your yes or no question and close out your annual reading, let's get your healing message. There it is. Practice speaking positively about other people and events, especially the future. I think it was, I think it was Bruce Lee said something like, um, like when you're sick, don't say I'm sick. Say I'm healing myself today. You know, the way that we speak to each other, to ourselves and to other people, you know, our body hears the words. They don't necessarily understand the intent behind them, right? So Taurus, this is what I have. If it resonates, if you want an annual reading, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be picking two people, to uh, two or three. I'll probably pick three, to be honest with you, um, to do some free readings. And I'll be announcing them as soon as I'm done this, probably January 1st or January 2nd. So let's get your yes or no question. The answer, Taurus, is no. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best year 2022. Happy New Year. Till next time.